in this tutorial i am going to show you how you can upload your psc project to the hostinger edge panel so here you can see a project so this is my psc project and those data are coming from the database table and i am going to show you how you can upload the psc project to the hostinger step by step from the very beginning so first of all you need to log into the hostinger after that you need to find your domain so here you can say i have two domain and i want to upload my psc project to this domain so for it i'm going to click here manage then i need to go down and here you can see manage your website and manage site button so i'm going to click here then here you can see file manager option so we need to click on file manager and it will open in different tab so it will show you something like this here you can see public html folder so we need to go inside this public html folder and over here we need to upload our PC project. So we need to upload our PC project here. Before we upload, we need to zip our PC project. So for it, uh, let me just go to my project. Here you can see this is my PC project. So we need to zip this project. So I'm just going to right click here, then click on show more option, then click here send to compressed zip folder. And there you can see a zip folder is created. So we need to upload this zip folder to our Postinger uh, public underscore HTML folder. So after coming to the public underscore HTML folder, we need to click on this icon. This is the upload icon. So I'm going to click here, then click on file because we have a zip file. Then I will go to the project location. So I'll go to C, Zam, HDocs, and this is our project, PSP underscore project. I'll select it, then click on open. And there you can see it started uploading and it will take a few seconds to minute depending on your project size and the upload is complete so after uploading is complete we need to extract this zip folder so i'm going to right click here then click on extract and here you can see choose folder name so we need to give a slash over here then keep everything the way it is and click on extract and there you can see extract is complete after that, we need to go inside this PSV underscore project. Okay, uh, let me just go back and I'm going to delete this zip file. Then I'll go inside this PSV underscore project folder. Then we need to select every files and folder from here and move it to the uh, directly to the public underscore HTML folder. So for it, I'm going to click on this icon and there you can see multiple selection enabled. So I'm going to select every folder and file on by on and after selecting every folder and file i'm going to click on this icon this is move icon so i'm going to click here then i will move it to the public underscore hdi folder so i'm going to uh, select this double dot folder then click on move and it will be moved so right now okay let me just show you if we now just go inside the public underscore html folder there you can see all the folder and files is directly inside this folder. So right now PC underscore project this folder is empty. So we can just delete this folder. And there we go. So our project uploading is complete to the hosting. So right now uh, if we just go to our this domain. Here you can see this page is not working because we need to set up our database for this project. So for it, this time we'll go to the database option. So here you can see uh, Hostinger, it will show you the website name or domain name. And here you can see database option. So I'll click here. And here we need to create a database. Let's say the database name will be php underscore ecom. Username will be same php underscore ecom. And what will be the password? Let's say password will be this one. Then, okay, let me just show you. Then we'll say here php underscore ecom. So, our database name, username, and password, everything is same. So, right now we can just click on create. Okay, the password must contain a upper class, lower class. Okay, so let me just give our here capital A and at the ray. Then click on create. And here you can see database is created successfully. So, right now if you go down here, you can see. MySQL database, MySQL user, and uh, this is our website name. So you need to make sure to remember the password, okay? 
so here you can see enter this margin so i'm going to click here and it will take us to the uh, PC my admin and here you can see this is our database so i'm going to click here and this database is empty so we have a uh, sql file for our project which is this one uh, here you can see the sql file here you can see ps underscore e from sql so we need to upload this over here so for it we just need to select this then click on import then click over here choose file and i'll go to xamp ac docs and our project was this one is underscore project and this our spl file i'll select it then click on open then i'll go down and click on import and there you can see our table is imported over here so right now if we now refresh it will still not all because we need to make some changes in the code as well so here uh, you can see I have a file over here called db.php so I'm going to click right click then click on edit so here let me just zoom in so here you can see that the username password and db name so we need to take the username password and db name from here so the username and the database name is same so I'm just going to say over here username will be this one the database name was this on same name basically and the password was a little bit of different it was a and capital a like this after that i'm going to save this and it is done so our database setup is complete so right now if you refresh here you can see right now to this domain it is showing our psc project so first of all you need to upload your project then you need to create a database username and password then you need to upload your database to the psc my admin uh, hosting as psc my admin and you need to modify your code a little bit wherever you have username password and database name and you will be done and here you can see this is our psc project and those data are coming from the database so I hope you right now know how to upload PSC project to the hosting guard. If you have any question or if you are confused anywhere, just let me know in the comment section. Make sure to subscribe and I hope to see you in the future tutorials.